Beau's proud lineage and breeding made her an ideal painter for America's elite, to whom she was culturally and ideologically predisposed. Beau also continued to receive honors and awards at major exhibitions and world's fairs, and to be invited to serve on their juries. Yet there was one city and institution with which Beau enjoyed a particularly long and fruitful relationship, Philadelphia's Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. She had begun her artistic education there and served as the first woman instructor in the school. She was also a frequent exhibitor and prize winner in the Academy's annual exhibitions, where her work was typically given pride of place alongside Sargent and other leading artists of the day. Let me close with Harrison Morris's more forgiving words. There was indeed a sort of halo around Miss Bow and her work. She was liked so well, she was so rarely talented, so unaffected, so simple, so winning, and if I may say it, so beautiful, that everybody was eager to give her the praise that she so richly deserved. <laughs>